This is the Washington University fall edition of their magazine. And it's interesting because there are two articles in here that are very related. The first is on uh, finding your, the, the value of finding the science of living with purpose. Okay, cool, cool picture here. So essentially what they're saying, that if you live with purpose, that you have a better life, you live longer and you're healthier. Here's the basic concept here. If you engage in leisure or um, cognitive e um, experiences or exercise, you're going to increase your purpose. You'll increase your energy. So the next article that's in here is on restorative justice. So restorative justice is a form of conflict resolution in which the pl playing field is leveled and students, administrators, and teachers all work together to find a solution to a problem. It's most often used in schools and there is a training program that you can take. There's three levels. It's an amazing process. Anyway, the University City High School, which serves over 800 students, mostly low income and um, brown, as they say, um, was having such problems with the, at their schools that in some cases, the teacher could not even talk over the noise of the students. And so they reached out to Wash U and they asked for help. And so they started to in, to ask questions. And the first thing they did was they created focus groups in which they asked the question, why do you think this is happening? So in restorative justice, Every single person gets to talk without interruption. And so what the, the focus group revealed is that the, t the students didn't feel trusted. And in many cases, the teachers didn't feel trusted. So it turned out that lack of respect, mistrust, and lack of responsibility was the culture of this school. What, by implementing this program, they were able to reduce the suspensions by more than 40%. That's extraordinary. And it changed the school culture. So the other thing is with the implementation of restorative justice, it becomes everybody's responsibility to make the culture and the environment a place of trust, respect, where people are taking responsibility. Now, what do we need when we, we are finding our purpose? These kids didn't have any purpose. They were disempowered. They didn't have any responsibility. They didn't care about getting good grades. There's a story in here of an immigrant student whose parents hired a tutor to help her with grammar and writing. And when she submitted a vastly superior writing assignment, she was accused of plagiarism rather than um, rewarded for her efforts. So that kind of a culture is not conducive to helping kids take control of their lives and have purpose, have meaning. So it's really ironic that this magazine had both of those articles. Remember, you want to have purpose. Give the people around you, even your kids, responsibilities. Trust them. Help them find their purpose. And boy, it's really exciting when you do. This is Marcy Venezia, Glee Works Holistic Coaching.